Night Light Sports Extra is brought to you by Isabella Bank. Hey everyone and welcome to Friday Night Lights. It's the first round of postseason play for high school football in the state of Michigan. And we have double duty games for you once again. Plus, we're going to be presenting our WNEM play of the night. In addition to that, we'll look ahead to next Friday's Game of the Week finalists. I love it. It's winner go home time, fellas. So let's get at it. Let's go. Friday Night Lights Game of the Week is brought to you by Priority Waste. Well, Claire has only missed the postseason once since 2006. Tonight, they hosted Bullet Creek. First quarter, Jaden Arthur calls his own number for the Pioneers, jukes his way down the field before being brought down inside the 10-yard line. It's now third and goal for Claire. Arthur, he's going to fake the give, throwing it over the middle into the end zone, and it's caught by the tight end, Chase Randall, for the touchdown. Bullet Creek would block the extra point, so it's 6-0. Claire back with it. Arthur fires this one, looking for Ryan Louch. It's tipped by Mannix Fitzgerald and intercepted by Caden Tate. So the Lancers will now take over. Tate back with it, gives it now to Bo Schwartz. We talked a lot about him coming into this one. Bounces back the other way. They try to bring him down, but they just can't until he finally goes down for the first. Bullet Creek with the upset win tonight, 22 to 19. They'll take on the winner of this game, Chesting, looking for their second playoff win since 2008 as they face Central Macomb. Near the end of the first half, Chesting up 15-6. The Hornets look for a big play, but Jordan Nix goes up and snatches it for the interception. Opening kickoff of the second half. Here it is, and it's an onside kick. A glorious bounce would allow the kicker, Braden Florian, to recover, and Chesting would get the ball back. On the drive, Florian wasn't done. Look at this jump cut. He makes players trip over each other on his way to the end zone, where he's a little peace sign to the camera after a 29-yard touchdown. Testing goes on to win it, 31-12. Now to a matchup that put up 111 points just one week ago. Lapeer traveling to take on Davison. The Lightning also looking to ruin the Cardinals perfect season. Davison leading and adding to it. They hand it to AJ Hill. He finds his way to the end zone. It's 49 14 Cardinals in the second quarter on the kickoff. After that, look at Michael Brewer. He finds a seam in the middle and takes off. Massive kickoff return. Cortez Porter brings him down, but then Zach Olenizak punches it in. Lapierre certainly not giving up, but Davison just too much. It's AJ Hill. Again and again, he finds the end zone. Cardinals take down the Lightning 76-35 in back-to-back -back weeks. These two teams put up 111 total points. They'll play the winner of this game between Grand Blank and Grand Ledge. Bobcats open the scoring. Daniel Steele takes the shuffle pass, breaks a tackle, jukes the Venner, and adds a stiff arm to wrap it up as he scores the touchdown. The Comets would respond, though. Preston Bennett gets stuck but cuts back and finds a lane to take it in for the score but too much grand blank in this one it's steel again as he jumps to the outside for the touchdown as the Bobcats defeat grand ledge 48 13. let's zone in on a rivalry game it's the 60th meeting between midland high and dow the chargers defeated the chemics last week but today it's win or go home fourth quarter it's seven nothing midland jacob jensen is going to give it to garland's randolph hits a wall of chemics but he will not be denied. He shakes some more defenders before being tripped up in the end zone. Dow makes it 7-6 after missing the PAT. Now Randolph was shaken up after that touchdown, but he would come back the very next drive. First play, gets the pitch from Jensen. One, two, three, four broken tackles. Jet, are you kidding me? Garland's Randolph off to the races. 58 yards for the game-winning touchdown. Dow takes down the Chemics once again, winning tonight 14-7. They'll play the winner of this game. Heritage hosting Traverse City Central. The Hawks looking for their first playoff win since 2001. The snap going to go to Rhett Clough. He gets through the line and is in for the touchdown. Heritage would continue to roll. Ethan Mason with time. Going to go over the middle to guess who? Braylon Isom. Teams just don't have an answer for this man. That's a first down. And that leads to this. It's Mason calling his own number. Muscles his way in for the score as the Hawks. Soar in this one, winning it 62 to 7. Michigan Lutheran Saturday travels to take on an 8 and 1 New Oldrup squad. Both teams won a playoff game last year. That won't be the case this season. Late in the first quarter, Hornets up 6 0. Jack Kohanic swings it out to Kevin Unix, 
who makes a pair of Cardinals miss and off down the sideline he goes. He would score a 49 yard touchdown to add on to their lead. MLS would fight back. Carson Kohler keeps it, leaps over a pile and off he goes. He would run it for a 47 yard touchdown to make it 12 7 game. Hornets offense would keep rolling. Klonik throws it deep to Jaden Martinez, who makes a reaching grab and gets a foot down for the completion. Unix would cap off the drive with a touchdown as Milford wins it 41 to 21.